All right, so welcome back to Adobe Illustrator. And in this uh, tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to properly deal with your layers. Because if you don't get your layers panel correct, it can really screw up your files. So once I start up Illustrator, I always go to Window, Workspace. And again, you'll notice you have an Essentials and an Essentials Classic. Again, the difference between these two is I would choose Essentials if you have worked in Illustrator for years and you kind of know where everything's at. If you are new to Illustrator, I would always choose Essentials Classic. So I'm going to click that one. Now what that's going to do is show the last panel arrangement that was set up on my screen the last time I worked. So I want to go to Window Menu again, Workspace again, and reset Essentials Classic. That's going to put all my panels back where they belong. Now I'm not going to be using the Properties panel. That's more of an advanced panel for those who have used Illustrator for a while. So I'm going to tear out the Properties, click the X and close it, and I'm going to tear out the Libraries, click the X and close it. The other thing you want to do is look at your panels, not just this icon mode. So I'm going to click the double arrowhead at the top of the panels. And more than anything, you're going to be using your layers panel, which unfortunately gets stuck way down here at the bottom. So I'm going to pull the layers panel out. And for the demo to show you how the layers panel works, I'm going to pull the bottom edge way, way, way down like that. Now, if the other panels kind of get in your way, you can overlap this slightly or click the double arrowhead to collapse all the rest of the panels. So you're just using your layers panel. And the other thing I'm going to do is go to the toolbox. I'm going to set that up as a two column toolbox. And before I start, I'm going to check my preferences one more time. Go to preferences in general. I do not want double click to isolate. I'm going to turn that off. I always turn on the bottom four check marks on the right. The ones on the left are default, so we're fine with that. Under selection and anchor display, I turn off the bottom two check marks. I don't want to use the rubber band tool. It just doesn't help with curves. You'll hear me talk about that more if you go back on the tutorial video for setting up all your preferences in Illustrator. Under type, I don't want the bottom two check marks either. Those are brand new features from Illustrator CS, or I'm sorry, Illustrator CC uh, that work with your type and they don't work well. So Illustrator has worked fine without those. So I always turn those off. Under units, make sure your general measurements are inches, strokes, and type are always measured as points. If I'm going to use guides, I recommend you make them red. Smart guides, I recommend you make them dark blue. And that's really all I need to check. All the other stuff we're either not going to use or they're defaults anyway. Okay, so I'll leave that alone. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go to File and Open. And on my desktop, I have my Orange Coast College files here somewhere. There we go. Uh, no, that is not it. Uh, let me see if I can find them here. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. All right. I'm going to go to my Chapter 3 demos here. And I'm going to open up this file called Fix the layers order. Okay, so I'm going to close this window. First thing I notice is rulers popping up along the side and the top of my screen and I don't need those. So I'm going to hit command R to get rid of rulers. And here's the file. Okay, this is the image or the scan that I wanted to draw. And this is my drawing. Okay, so you can see it took a lot of layers to put this drawing together because Fred Flintstone's made up of a lot of tiny little shapes and objects and pieces. 
and I usually put each object or each piece on a separate layer. Okay, when I hover over this, I can see smart guides showing up and I don't need smart guides. So before I start this file, I'm going to go to view menu, turn off my smart guides, and I will go to view menu and turn off snap to point. I don't need those. Okay, my goal is to rearrange the layer order so the drawing on the right looks like the scan that I drew from on the left. Okay, so I can kind of keep these two side by side on my screen right there. And what I also want to do with my layers panel is pull the right side out. That way I can read the name of every layer. Okay, so first thing. If it's in the background, whatever's furthest away from you should be the lowest layer. So my background should not be on top of all this artwork. Okay, I'm going to pull the background down, and here's what you got to watch out for. When you pull a layer, you're either going to see a thin blue line or a thick blue bar. Okay, the difference between these two is if I take the background layer and I pull it to this thin blue line, I will tuck it underneath that mouse pad layer like I did right there. If I take the background layer and I drag and drop it right onto a thick blue bar, that's gonna create something called a sub layer, where essentially I have now placed my background inside the dirt mound layer. So I've placed a layer inside of a layer and that can cause a huge nightmare for your files so if you accidentally do that just pull the background back out to the thin blue line okay if you have any layers where the uh, triangle is turned down that means you've opened a layer like a folder so i'll click that triangle i want all these little triangles to point to the right so my uh, layer folders are closed and I'm going to pull the background all the way down right underneath right leg. I want to pull it to the thin blue line. So now I've tucked that background way down below everything else. You can see it right there. Okay, my monitor is a little smaller, so I kind of run out of space for my layers panel. But we'll try to put it right there. All right, and now when I look over here, I can see Fred Flintstone's tongue. In the scan but I can't see it at all on my artwork so if there's a piece of artwork you need to find and just visually you cannot see it at all you hit command Y okay that is the keyboard command right up here view menu preview or outline mode view and command Y is outline mode that's like looking at your artwork with x-ray vision. You can see right through all the colors to see any pieces that are buried underneath other pieces. So now, with my black arrow up here, I can click on Fred's tongue, and now it jumps to that layer automatically. Whatever you click on, it will jump to that layer. So now I hit Command-Y again for preview mode. And obviously his tongue needs to be above the shape of his head. It has to sit on top so I can see it. So even though his tongue is down here, Fred's head is right up here. Okay, so I'm going to take the tongue layer and just pull it above Fred's head on the thin blue line. And now he's not biting off his tongue. Okay, same thing for his tie. I don't see his tie at all. So I can hit Command Y, click on the tie. Oh, it's part of Fred's head, okay. Hit Command Y again. And the reason why it's getting buried is his shirt is way up here. His shirt needs to be below the tie. So I'm gonna pull the shirt down to the thin blue line under Fred's head. Now I click outside. And you can see how I'm starting to stack the arrangement of these objects. Okay, I'm going to do one more. 
So notice how the green dinosaur is sitting on top of the dirt mound, but here the dirt mound is on top of it. So I'm going to click on the dirt mound, which is way up there. But my little green dinosaur or green monster is way down here. So I'm going to take the dirt mound, drag it down under green monster. And now he's sitting on the dirt mound. So I think you get the idea here. You're going to rearrange all your layers so that eventually, let me just shrink this out of the way, this drawing on the right looks exactly like the scan on the left. You just have to rearrange the layer order and put them back in their proper order. Okay, that's all you need to do. So look to the left and right and left to right and left to right. Rearrange your layers. Just again, make sure you pull them to the thin blue line. And I'll do one more. So his leg here, let's say his keyboard. I'm going to click on keyboard here. That should go above his shirt because it's got to appear in front of the shirt. So I'll just pull that up. And let's pull it up above Fred's head as well. There we go. And you can see the seat cushion that needs to come down below his shirt. There we go. And his right leg needs to come up. Now, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but you get the idea. You're going to be moving your layers back and forth, up and down, and trying to figure out the proper layer order of this. So I can take his left leg, pull it below the right leg. There we go. Now I've got him a little closer to sitting on that chair. But I'm not going to do the whole thing. Okay, It's up to you to figure out the proper order of the layers. And when you're done, you don't delete anything. You don't flatten anything. You just save this as a finished Illustrator file. If you're going to turn it into me, you just go to File save as, and you name it with your last name, your first name, Flintstones, or mixed layers. I don't care what you name it, as long as your file names have your last name and your first name so I know who's to grade. Okay, the rest, like I said, is going to be up to you. So, good luck.